<laughs> What's up, beautiful people? We are gonna get into a Shein haul today, but first I'm gonna eat a popsicle. These, oh my God, this is so good. These are from Good Pop. They are the strawberry flavor and they are so, so good, which is the hashtag on the back of the box on the popsicle stick. They are low sugar, gluten-free, dairy-free. They're basically water. Mm, oh my God, so good. So many of you have requested that I talk about Shein, which if you know me well, I'm bougie. I do not shop at places like Shein. I'm gonna do it all for you. I just wanna give you like my first impressions of what I thought of the brand. You know, I was actually really surprised by some of the things. I will say, if you're a big booty bitch like me, don't buy their jeans, don't buy any of their bottoms, because they're not gonna fit you. I think Philly is like having a full blown wrestling match with his toy behind me. But their swimsuits, they're banger. They're so good. I'm obsessed with their swimsuits so much. I think they fit me like a glove. I'm really surprised at how great the quality is of their swimsuits too. Like beyond good like way better than <clears throat> sour salt i definitely recommend if you're a plus size person buy their swimsuits they're worth it all their basic tops are super good and they're only like three dollars or four dollars or five dollars i'm not even sure but i really really love them a lot so we will get into this shortly and i'll see you with the try on sophie says i look like a frat boy which i'm sure i probably do i left my earrings in the car so i'm putting them on now and um, we're gonna go get coffee first because <laughs> your girl needs caffeine before we get into this haul. So let's go to Starbucks. <laughs> I don't know. I just wanna be funny. I want the people to love me, you know? Like, uh, ah! I hate vlogging and I'm doing this all for you all. Oh my God. Hey, how's it going today? Hi, do you guys have oat milk? We sure do. Oh, bless, okay. Can I please get a grande brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso? Perfect, what else for you? Sweet mocha with the oat milk. Thank you, this one's for you. Thank you. Thank you, enjoy. Oh my God, this is what dreams are made of. <sighs> Shout out to Starbucks. I'm obsessed with their oat milk shake and espresso. It's so good and I am not kidding you. If I go to a Starbucks and they're out of oat milk, I will not get anything. That's how addicted I am to oat milk. So Soph and I are debating whether guys and girls can be friends with each other if they're in relationships with other people. But what do you think? Before we get into the actual clothes, the first thing I want to talk about is Shein's jewelry. It is amazing. Look at this necklace. It's so cute. I love it. I love all the layers. Very on trend. I think it was like $3. This reminds me of like something you'd get at Nordstrom Rack, but it was literally only $3. Super cute. Feels actually like pretty good quality too. I think most jewelry, unless it's actual gold, it doesn't make sense to spend a lot of money on it because they all eventually tarnish in the long run. So this will save you some money. I got a whole bunch of anklets. These are all anklets here. And then I have a couple already on my ankle, which you can see there and a cameo of Philly. So I'm rocking the anklets. Probably gonna put some more on later. If you like to go out to the club, because I do, these are perfect for wearing jewelry out when you're like not worried about losing stuff so instead of wearing your super expensive jewelry if you do buy more expensive jewelry just buy the costume jewelry because it's gonna save you so much money in the long run i think these were like three dollars for this pack of 20. i got a couple of earrings that are super cute too i took two of them off because i tried them on the white and the gold are my fave these ones kind of look like caca but the other two are really cute i also got a bunch of these these are um, those resin rings, they're super popular right now. They're normally like a hundred and something dollars for one of these rings. And this whole pack was, I think like $3. Obviously probably would not wear them like that, but I see a lot of people who do wear them like that. My favorite one, which I think looks the best, is the like kind of tortoise shell color one. 
I got this pack from Shein as well. I don't really know what these are. I don't know if they're necklaces. I haven't tried them or anything yet. They're bracelets. Ooh, these are cute. I'm gonna put this one on. How cute. Onto swimsuits. Okay, I lied. We're actually gonna do the shoes I got first. So up first are these bad boys. How cute. They are Alexander McQueen knockoffs. I've tried the real Alexander McQueen sneakers before. These are so much better and they are way more comfortable. They even say it on the back. I've never bought a knockoff in my life, but <laughs> I'm here for it. I think these were like $20 or $30. Alexander McQueen sneakers are normally like $500 or $600 and the quality is amazing and they're so much more comfortable than the real thing. So get the knockoffs y'all. Material is so soft. It's really cushiony on the inside and it's just like the most well-made sneaker. I don't love that this has got a little scuff in the front, but I'm gonna deal with it because they're so cute. Another super cute pair of sandals. These are really high quality. They feel amazing. They feel buttery soft, just like the normal like leather strapped shoe. I will say like there's no cushion really in the bottom part, but for what I think was $10, I can't complain. They're pretty cute. Let me put them on so you can see. How cute, right? And that little anklet moment. Who, who am I? Flirtatious. My face is looking so tired because I don't have any makeup on. So I'm just gonna spritz and do some mascara and a little bit of lip because I don't like to film without makeup and I just realized I've been filming all day without makeup on. So let's put some on. I always feel naked if I don't wear mascara. Oh my God, I got it in my eye. Ah! Yeah, I don't think it's ever happened to me. That really burned. This is, um. Au Naturale is the name of the brand. It's their mascara. It's not my favorite, but it's all I could find today. My favorite is from Ilia. Their Limitless Mascara. It's the shit. This lip is so bougie. I think this is like a $40 lip gloss. It's not worth it. It's from Kyer Weiss and it's in the color Fascination. Um, my favorite lip gloss is actually from Kosas. The wet lip oil, it's the best. But again, this is all I had. So this is what we're using. Done, it'll look a little better. Not much though. As I mentioned, none of their bottoms fit me. I bought their jeans. I bought a lot of like their linen sets. If you are a big booty bitch like me, they're not gonna work for you at all. So don't even order them. I ordered everything in a 4X um, because the stuff is kind of run small. So up first, is this top it's actually what i'm wearing right now in the black i love it i love how it fits it's like the perfect cropped length for me i got it in this nude color that's almost the same as my skin tone it'll probably look naked on and i also got it in the baby blue so let me try them on and show you what it looked like i actually really love this color i'm surprised it is very skin tone like almost the same as my skin tone like is she wearing a top or is she naked you can't tell, but I really, really, really love the color. I think it's super cute. It's light enough that you can tell it's a shirt, but it's so, so close to my shade of skin tone. I would wear it with these jeans, which are from Good American. The good 90s jeans. And I just think this is such a vibe with the shoes too. How cute. This is that 90s color blue, that color that we all used to paint on our eyelids, but now in the form of a shirt. I don't know if I love this color as much. I do think I like the more mocha tan color better than this one. So I actually think I might be returning this color. I thought originally that I was gonna keep it, but I think it's just like not really doing anything for me. So maybe actually I will keep this because if I wore it with a different pair of jeans, like a dark wash or a pair of black jeans or something that's like not exactly the same as the bottoms, I think it would look cute. So I think it was like $7, so I'm still gonna keep it. This was the most surprising of everything I got. I'm like really so impressed with the quality of the Shein button down. It's like so, so nice. It's silky soft. This feels like something that I would have paid $150 for at like Nordstrom, except I think it was like 15. 
and it's so cute. I would probably wear it like this, just um, with a little tiny button there and then maybe button up one. But I think it's really, really cute. It fits so well and it's so silky. Like, it's just such good quality. Like, I'm so impressed. Look at those sleeves, y'all. I don't know if you can tell from the camera, but it's really, I've said it a million times, it's just really, really good quality. You can also like wear it with your sleeves rolled up if you like that look better. But I love this and I'm keeping it. Oh my God, this is so hard. <laughs> I'm obsessed with this top. This reminds me so much of that dress that I have that I got from, I believe, Vera Shop. It's almost exactly the same color, except it's not a dress, it's a top. It also reminds me of the top that I bought from Mango, which you, if you watch my Mango haul, you would see it there. It's very, very similar to this, but this one actually fits me better than that one. That one was way too big for me. And this is also significantly cheaper. I love the cinching at the sides. I think it's so cute. This just feels very Gen Z, this whole outfit vibe. It needs a jewelry, like a necklace, but I really, really love it. I didn't tie the straps, but that's okay. This is the same top that I just tried on as that green one, except it's just in a different color. And it's just so cute. Like, I will say what I'm so surprised about with Shein in particular is that the quality of the stuff is way better than I ever would have imagined. I was expecting this to be super super shitty quality and it's actually not bad at all which is so so surprising to me i think it's better than h&m i am so surprised by shein's swimsuits this is one of their swimsuit tops i'm not showing you the bottom of this because it's too small again you know the big booty problem um but this top is gorgeous i ordered the set in a 3x it does go up to 4x so i'm contemplating ordering it again with the 4x for the bottoms but look at this detailing of this swimsuit and I am beyond surprised at how well it actually fits me. Everything is in place, nothing is moving. Like this is probably one of the most well-structured swimsuits I've ever tried that has like all of this cut out detailing and I don't feel like anything is going anywhere. What I also love is that the back, as you can see, is really like a nice thick band. So it's covering all of my back fat, like, it's just so cute. I can't say anything else about it. I love the color. I love the ribbed detailing. The quality is actually really, really good too. Like I am so surprised at Shein and their swimsuits and this is definitely my favorite top. I just think it's so fun. I would also wear this out too as well because I just think it's cute and I love this part. So sexy. I forgot to mention this actually has lining inside. It's fully cupped as well. It's all in the right place. The cups feel perfect. I love the little side boob action. Like this is just perfection. Plus size ladies, you really, really need this. Who told Shein they could make swimsuits that are this good? I love the one shoulderness. I love the cutout here. I just think it's so fun. It's so flattering on my butt. Like everything about this swimsuit is just chef's kiss. It's so good. I cannot recommend their swimsuits enough. I also got this cover up. I've always wanted a cover up like this. I think I might have to alter it to be just a little shorter because it is a little long. I feel myself walking over it, but I love the dramatic slit. I think it's so cute. You can um, adjust like how tight it is here with the, the strings. It's just so cute. It's so sexy and sensual. It's very timeless. Just gives me all those Miami Beach vibes. I need to go on vacation like tomorrow. Last swimsuit is actually the most conservative of all of them. So if you're going on vacation with your family, this is the one that's for you. It covers everything up. It's a nice tankini, but not like full tankini. It's like tankini meets bikini. It's like a, I don't know. There's another word that we need for it. Cause it's like not full on all the way down like a tankini is, but it's not short enough like a bikini. So I don't know. Maybe it's a bandini. Is that a thing? I don't know. All right. So love this. I don't really have much to say about it. It's timeless. I like the cinching that's right here. Makes the tatas look really good. 
and let me throw this back on with it just so you guys can see the full effect with the black on black and just like everything because this is a vibe it's a vibe like how cute right she's ready give me margarita that's it for swimsuits, but I forgot to talk about two different shirts. This one is so cute. It's a little cropped graphic tee. I love the color on my skin. It's like a very, very light, almost like milky coconut milk style color. Um, obviously, it's like almost the same length as that top. I just think it's super cute though. So I love this. And the last one is just this like t-shirt. That's like one of those oversized ones. It's just a graphic tee that says Maui very basic bitch but I like it I'm just gonna wear it around the house for lounging that's it for this haul y'all it was so good trying on Shein's clothes I'm very very impressed with their basic tees and their swimsuits and their cover-ups don't do the jumpsuits don't do any of the um like linen or the jeans or anything along those lines because I'm a size 20 22 so they will not fit you because I ordered the largest size possible if you're smaller than me they will work, but definitely size up. So that's it for this haul, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will link everything below that I tried on, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!